Oh, what's going on, YouTube? This is what we're Josh do, and this is a very exciting video because Thermal Master reached out to me and asked me to check out their newest thermal imaging camera. Now, I reviewed the P2 and the P2 Pro. I actually ended up giving my dad the P2, and he is just tickled by it. He keeps sending me pictures because he lives off grid and has like solar panels and charge controllers and lithium batteries and. You know, he just likes to take pictures of his wiring and see how hot they are and all that cool stuff. So he is loves it. I have the P2 Pro. I kept it because I wanted to keep one of them. And uh, this is going to be a full thing. So those require a smartphone. So you have to find it. You have to connect it to your phone. And then you can do things. This is its own independent thing. You don't need to have Android or iOS or anything like that. It's just its own thing. So this is super exciting. And the, the way it's packaged in like this Pelican kind of case thing is pretty cool. Let me get my other thermal gun. All right. So we're also going to test out the startup. I literally just one second ago turned this thing on. This is cool because, again, I don't need to find my phone. I don't need to download an app. I don't have to connect anything. Uh, it just works on its own. But the quality is low compared to the P2 Pro. The P2 Pro has a better picture, in my opinion. And also, it's much more convenient to send the pictures and share and record video and stuff. This is cool. But it records crappy videos. And you have to uh, put it in handbrake and convert the video to something that's playable. It's just a low image quality and I haven't enjoyed it. I haven't been using it. I've been using my P2 Pro. So I'm gonna stop talking about other stuff and I'm just gonna get to the unboxing of this because this is brand spanking new. I did not pay for this. They sent this to me, but I'm not being paid to make this video. So this is freaking nuts. This is freaking nuts. Okay, so you can scan these QR codes to extend your warranty, you've got a calibration certificate. You have the user manual quick start guide. We've got this thing right here, which is USB-A to USB-C. That's awesome. And it's also braided. So very nice cable. We've got some... Nope, we don't have anything right here. And then we have this. Oh my... That is a unit! That is a freaking unit. Oh my word. Okay, they make a macro accessory that you can put on the front of it and get really, really close. This did not come with that. I don't see it in here at least. Yeah, it's not in there. All right, I'm going to find a USB charger here and then plug in the USB-A. And I'm going to plug this in somehow. I don't even know where you would... Oh, up here. This thing is crazy. Oh, it comes with an SD card. Or this one did. This, again, this is a review unit. 32 gigabytes. And then plug in the USB-C. All right. And I can see that it's mostly charged. The last one's filling in there. All right. Let's take a look at it. It says Thor. It's nothing really there. We got a trigger. And then a nice big grip. The micro SD card slot. Nothing here but the logo. We've got this which is a lens protector, it looks like. That's pretty cool. You got like a bunch of sensors and stuff up here. I don't even know what all this is. I know you can do like picture in picture, like so it has an actual camera and then it has a thermal camera. But uh, then looks like we've got, oh yeah, we've got threads at the bottom here to mount it to a tripod and then a lanyard we can connect. All right, I'm curious if it can charge a little bit faster with a power delivery. So USB-C to USB-C and maybe about the same. All right, so I'll, I'm gonna take a quick look at this manual here. All right, we got some safety precautions there. All right, and that's what I needed to see. Look at this. So we got the shutter button. We can short press for a photo, long press for video, lens protection tab, visible light, infrared, laser pointer, fill light, USB-C and memory card. So take a photo, short press. Long press to record a video, and then short press to stop recording. There's just a lot here, so that's cool. And then you have some function settings here and some system settings. 
Oh, cool. There's a guide for the sensitivity that you should uh, use for the emissivity. Emissivity. Im- I'm, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was different values that you needed to set. So definitely uh, we'll be keeping that. And now I'm just going to basically set it up. All right. So I got the time set on here. And that is a very big, nice screen. Oh, my word. Let's just compare it to this guy. And I spent like 500 bucks on this thing right here on the left. That screen just looks immediately much higher quality. Like an HD screen versus a freaking non-HD screen. And then also I want to do a test where I see how long it takes to uh, boot up both of these. Because I think that's a pretty big thing there. Oh, yeah. That lens is closed. All right. So... Let's go ahead and unplug it and we'll turn them both off. This isn't like a direct comparison. I'm just basically want to see which one takes longer to boot up before I do anything else. Okay, so, so far that one's got the lead. That one's definitely got a much nicer screen and animation there. And oh my, it looks like the thermal turns on right away. And this one is initializing. And so it might not be that big of a difference, really. I mean, probably a few seconds. Okay, well, I mean, it's not dramatic. It's not huge, but it's definitely faster. And I love the quality of this screen. I just love it. It's so good. Oh, there's a freaking flashlight on there. That's neat. You've got your... uh saved photos and videos your back button and then we've got measurement center spot so that's cool so basically if you have the center spot on it's gonna give you whatever you're pointing at directly right in the middle so right now it's off there's no center spot right now it's got the minimum and the maximum so the maximum's gonna be the red and the minimum's gonna be like the green or whatever so we'll turn center back on yeah, and so now whatever we have the thing pointed at is going to be that temperature. And then you can turn off the coldest, but I like to have it all on. So you got custom spots, three of them. Temperature difference, addition, I don't know. And delete all. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So then we'll go here to the image mode. And you've got IR. Visual. Okay, okay. Fusion. Oh, it blends the images together. So you can see like some uh, hot in there. That's pretty cool. Picture in picture. So you get like a thermal and a regular. And then fusion alignment. Don't know what that is. You can move it around. Whatever. I don't know. Definitely going to do the infrared. Then we can choose the palette. So whichever one we like more. You can have the white hot. Or you can have the black hot or lava or iron. I always go with iron. Rainbow's weird. Rainbow HC. Uh, yeah, I just go with iron. Iron's what I like. And then we have settings for measurement parameters. Uh, there's that emissive. <laughs> yeah, you can change that. And I, I didn't understand what that was before. But it, it gives you a list of all the things if you're measuring to change it to. And then distance. Okay, you can change it in increments of 0.5 from 0.50 to, uh, act, oh, six, six meters. Temperature. This is just a lot here. This is just the unboxing and first look, you know? This isn't a review or anything like that. So we can do an alarm for the maximum temperature. And if it's greater than 130 Celsius, or if it's less than, so that's pretty cool. LED alarm, alarm capture, capture interval. That's pretty crazy. A lot of stuff here. Capture settings, auto save, time lapse image capture. That's pretty sweet. Press the trigger button to start the time lapse and press the trigger button. That's super cool. And then uh, we can change that. So 10 seconds, 20, 30, 40, 50, one minute, 70, 80, 90, 
100, 110. Let's see what we can go to. So, wow, we can go really high. Let's go all the way. I just want to see what it can do. So, 500, 600, 7, 8. Oh, my gosh. Can you go to above 1,000? Okay, 990. 990. That's crazy. And I'm long pressing, but it actually goes faster when I short press it. Now I got to wait a while. I'll probably just do it. Yeah, that's better. All right, I'm setting it to 10. I don't know what number is. So that's from 10. It's default at 100. And it also goes up to 990. So now we're going to go all the way down to freaking 100. All right, we got isotherm, whatever that is. I don't know. Above, threshold, below, threshold, min, high. I, I, a lot of the stuff. Super resolution. Okay. Video settings. Video autosave. Silent recording. Index mode. I, I don't know what this is. Temperature unit. So we can do uh, Fahrenheit. Distance unit. Meters. Feet. And then we have Wi-Fi. Okay. So we can connect to this thing using Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool. All right, at the moment, I'm not quite sure what the Wi-Fi capabilities are. So on display, we can, oh my gosh, we can choose a lot here. We can see whether we have hotspot on or off. We could turn the little thing off for the hotspot icon, whether it's on or off, and the memory card time. Time's pretty big. I don't know if I want that. The battery temperature unit. So we, yeah, we can adjust what we have on there and then auto power off 20 minutes from off like it never auto turns off five minutes to 20 so i feel like 10 is pretty generous there and then system settings we got device information so this you can update the firmware on it when there's updates in the future and here we can see that mine came with version 112 so it'll be definitely interesting to see what it gets updated to in the future and what it adds we could factory reset it no let's not do that format the sd card yes oh yeah i saw the little sd card icon there and then we can choose the brightness so it came with medium we can change it to high let's keep it on medium for the video purposes date and time we can obviously adjust that like we did when we first set it up language we can choose a lot here actually so yeah lots of options here for languages and then update upgrade sd card detected update file not detected and then open source license all right that's all the settings so let's uh measure some stuff all right so it did find thor connect and yeah now i can move this around there's the back of my computer and there's the desk that's super cool. So then we can just save it. And it's here. And then we can download it to our phone. And look, now it's in our phone gallery. Check that out. That's freaking cool. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing because I make videos on tech and things like this. Thanks again, Thermal Master, for sending this out to me. This is awesome. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I also post my YouTube community page. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.